Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and this is Brittany's Kitchen. I um, I know it's been a while since I made my last video. It's been about over a year. I just needed time for myself, I needed a mental break, time for my family, and all that fun jazz. Um, today I am back with another recipe for you guys. I'm going to make um, homemade drop biscuits. They are so yummy. I like to spice it up a little with cheese and uh, butter drizzle on top. So we are going to get started with that now. You're going to need a food processor. I mean, you could do this all in a bowl by hand, no problem. You'll just need a couple different tools, but I'm going to use a food processor today. Everything is pre-measured here, but I will tell you everything as I'm doing it and I will link everything down below. So then you can, um, or list everything down below so you can follow along and do it yourself. So let's get started. You are going to need two cups of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. And then uh, one tablespoon white sugar. And half a teaspoon of salt. And you are gonna process that. I'm gonna pulse it for a few minutes minutes to get everything combined well together and then um, we'll move on from there. Okay and now you're going to need a half a cup of butter from the fridge so you're going to take it cold right out of the fridge, cube it and then you're going to add it into this. butter is one stick of butter. You're going to cube it and add it into your flour, dry ingredients. So you're going to cube it. until it forms like little crummy looking, almost like a, um, a pie crust. Okay, so now you've got like, it, it looks crummy, it's, it's chunky. You want that kind of consistency. I still have some large chunks in there, so I'm gonna continue to pulse it. buttermilk on hand you can make it yourself. You're going to take a cup of milk and add a few splashes of um, white vinegar and what this is going to do is going to age the milk for you and create buttermilk. So that's what I did. I don't have buttermilk on hand so I made it myself. You're going to pour that in and what these biscuits are they're drop biscuits so that means you don't have to roll them out and cut them with a cookie cutter anything like that. It's very simple. So then now you're going to pulse it again. You're going to put it into a good ball. Okay, so now I've got my dough ball. Now you can do this with either cheese or without cheese. I prefer cheese biscuits. 
So I have just a little bit of um, cheddar cheese um, shredded. You can use any other cheese if you want. I just prefer this. You can completely forget about the cheese and just bake them this way and be done with it. But I'm gonna add my cheese in. It's probably about half a cup is what I have here. Okay. I'm gonna add my cover back on and I'm gonna pulse it again for another couple minutes, maybe less, depending. When you see it's, when you see it's fully uh, incorporated into the dish. so it's ready to go when you're done um, the recipe. Okay, so this is what the mixture looks like. It is very sticky and you're obviously not going to want to do it with your hands. Now I'm going to clear out my counter and get uh, everything else situated so I can Get them ready to bake. Okay, now that my area is all cleaned up, you're going to take a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper so that they don't stick to the pan. And you're literally just going to take a spoon, take some on the spoon, and you're going to drop it right on the pan. You're going to repeat until your pan is full. Okay, so I have 12 here on this pan. I will need another pan. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. I'm going to stick them in the oven for 20 minutes. Remember, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, or until golden brown. So depending on your oven, you may have to watch it because everybody's oven is different. Um, so either 20 minutes or until golden brown. It may be less, it may be more. Just keep an eye on them. And I will see you when they are done baking. Okay, so the biscuits are about ready to be coming out of the oven. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the drizzle that I put on top. So you're gonna take half a stick of butter, which is four tablespoons, three to four tablespoons is what you can use. I use a pan on the stove because I don't own a microwave. I haven't for many years. I prefer not to use a microwave, just my preference. So I'm gonna use half a stick of butter and I'm gonna take about, let's say about a tablespoon of minced garlic and some Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all into the pan. And then I'm gonna go and uh, melt the butter and stir this all together to make a drizzle for the top. Okay, so these are ready.
Okay, so now I am done baking all of these. I plated the cold ones. These ones are still kind of hot from the oven. I just took those out. So now I'm going to get my um, butter melt and I will rub it on top of these. butter mixture looks like. It's, this is the garlic. You can smell the garlic. It smells so good. And you're just going to take some on. I have a little kitchen brush here, but if you don't, you can use a spoon and just rub it over it. I'm going to brush all of these just like this. chunks of um, garlic on there. Okay. Those in a minute. cheese inside of it and the butter garlic on top really adds to the flavor. So if you want an easy biscuit recipe you can eat this with a soup, you can eat this with any other meal choice that you want. It's really easy to make. As you can see it only took about five minutes to prep. The longest it took was the 20 minutes to cook. Very easy. So if you like this recipe please subscribe and um, like down below and follow along for more recipes. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.